sounds like a seventies disco group, right? <laughs> When we say thug, thug life, we think of a westernized word depicting a rough guy or a bully, a tough dude who takes no one's crap. The meme definition. Fun fact: that word has a past, and what a past! Let's travel to India. In Hindi, thug means swindler or deceiver, and it later transformed into someone who robs and kills for money. And the beginnings of the word starts with a cult. Following Kali, the tantric goddess of Hinduism and destruction, the thugs were made up of Hindus and Muslims, known as one of the biggest mafias out there, operating in India around the Middle Ages up until 1830. Following this cult, they saw murder as a way to just move through life, showing Kali their devotion in the form of these sacrifices. Morals were irrelevant because they were just doing their job. The way they operated was horrifying. A group of them, could be ten, could be a hundred of them, would patrol the streets, searching for people to rob and strangle them. And actually, that was their M.O. Strangulation with a yellow handkerchief. They will then bury their bodies, or they will just dump them in a pit. If one of the victims had a kid with them at the moment of the murder, they would take the child and indoctrinate them to become a thuggy. They had their good amount of leaders, but one stood up as the craziest, most violent, and extreme of all. Thug Bayram. Born around 1765, was the leader from 1790 to 1840. He confessed to being present in 931 murders and committing 125 himself. The British army had an eye on this guy's shenanigans. They were killing so many people. The vast majority were foreigners and Silk Road merchants. Lieutenant Sir William Henry Sleeman appeared to the rescue. He searched and disjointed them all over the country. He made a big bust in 1935 by capturing Sayid Amir Ali because, thanks to his confession, they got to see a pit filled with more than a hundred bodies. Now the king was interested. Sleeman quickly became the commissioner of the British Company in the East Indies. His first order was 1,400 thugs to be hanged. Later on, and thanks to a lot of blabbermouths, Thug Bayram fell into custody. He was put in a thug-made prison in Jabalpur, and then in 1840 he was also hanged. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the thuggy were responsible of two million deaths, give or take. I mean. They were a 150-year-old cult with a lot of recruits. So sure. What are your thoughts? That word "sure" carries a horrifying meaning that was washed out through the years, as a lot of words nowadays. Well, take this as your reminder. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. I wish you all a lovely day. I will see you later. Stay safe.